In this video, I will tell you about creating the parametric drawing with the help of infer constraint status bar option. So right now we have this simple drawing which is not made with constraints and will make a copy of this drawing but with the help of constraints or restrictions. So when you go to the status bar, here you will see this infer constraint option and if you are not able to see this option, then go to the customization on the end of this status bar and select this infer constraints so that will activate the infer constraints option once the option is visible click on it to activate it now i'll go to the line tool and click anywhere in the drawing area to start making the line and now start by adding the length to this line so i'll use approximate distance in this case and also as you can see that we have this dynamic input activated so i'll simply deactivate it so i'll once again go to the customization and I'll select dynamic input and I'll turn it off okay now we have simple dimensions here so I'll click here and as soon as I click here you'll notice this small box so that's an automatic constraint which is applied because infer constraint option is active now I'll move here and once again a new constraint has been applied now I'll click somewhere over here again a new constraint click here and you'll notice that new constraints are automatically applied in all of these cases and I'll join it with the initial point and now I'll press enter so now we have these constraints applied on different points all of these constraints have their specific purposes for example when I go to the first one which is the horizontal constraint its purpose is to keep this line always horizontal so in this case no matter how you change the grip the line will always remain horizontal and in order to show it clearly I'll make a simple geometry a simple line and once again we have the horizontal constraint here now as the constraint is applied when you select the line and you try to change it you'll notice that you won't be able to do so even when the position of line changes it will always remain horizontal now similarly we have the second constraint which is perpendicular now I'll erase this line and I'll go to the line tool again and now I'll start with this point and I'll click here now we have the perpendicular constraint now this constraint has been applied in between this line and this line and in this case both of them will always remain perpendicular no matter what so I'll select it and I'll try to rotate it and when I do so you'll notice that it will move but it will not rotate and it will also not change its position so although the length will change and all the other geometries will change in this case but you'll notice that the relationship or the constraint which has been applied to these geometries will always remain maintained so it's still perpendicular and this line is still horizontal so in a similar way all of these constraints are applied on this collective geometry and they will always maintain their relationship with this complete geometry now we have this circle also so let's go to circle and let's make it so I'll take reference of this one and I'll reference the center point here but the midpoint is not visible so go to the object snap and turn on this midpoint now go to this point and here we have it now I'll make the circle and in this case no constraint was applied on this circle so you can freely move it and you can freely change its position its radius and all the remaining features in order to control the constraints which are applied you can go to infer constraint setting so right click on the infer constraint and go to this infer constraint setting now you'll see all the constraints that are applied currently on the geometry so depending upon the type of geometry and the type of relationship between the mating geometries these constraints are applied now if you don't want a particular type of constraint to be applied you can simply uncheck it for example here I have unchecked this horizontal and now if you select this infer constraint and if you try to apply it on a geometry it won't be applied now we have a horizontal line but the constraint is not applied now when I made this line in this way the perpendicular constraint has been applied but not the horizontal that's because the infer constraint option has this horizontal radio button off so let's click on it to turn it on and click on ok again now I'll erase both of them 
so that was one way of constraining these geometries and they are quite constrained now and when you select them and when you try to move them you'll notice that they will move but in accordance with the constraints which are applied on them there is also a different method of applying these constraints directly and you can apply that using auto constraint tool so go to the parametric tab and here you'll see on the geometric panel we have this auto constraint so using this auto constraint you can apply automatic constraints to multiple geometries in this case i'll select these geometries and simply press enter now you'll notice lots of constraint are applied on this in geometry and in this case also if you select the part of the geometries you'll notice that these constraints will always be maintained no matter how you change the geometry so i'll press ctrl z once again to get back to the original geometry now these constraints are not permanent you can remove them selectively simply by going to any of the constraint and then right click and select delete so that will delete the constraint and if you want to delete multiple constraints simply go on that and delete it now we don't have the coincident or the perpendicular constraint on this part of the geometry and now if i select this you'll notice that i'll be able to move it they are no longer coincident and neither they are perpendicular also when you go to any of these constraints you'll see this small cross mark so that will simply hide the constraint and it will not remove the constraint so now here both of the constraints are hidden the coincident as well as the perpendicular but in this case the relationship is still maintained so if i click on that you'll notice that still the relationship has been maintained it's still perpendicular and coincident so let's press ctrl z a couple of times and now if you want to remove constraints on lots of geometries instead of selecting them one by one you can use this delete constraints tool so select the delete constraint and now select the complete part of geometry from where you want to remove these constraints so i have selected them all now press enter and you'll notice that the complete constraints are now removed and now we don't have any relationship between different parts of the geometry now they will move independent of each other so that was all about infer constraint auto constraint and hiding and removing different geometric constraints in AutoCAD drawing.